Welcome back to the program, everyone. And you know people have been waiting a long time to head on down and enjoy all the sights and fun and frivolity of the Tulip Festival happening down in Pella. So right now, let's visit with Bev Graves. She is there in Pella right now as we're going to give you an update as what we can expect as the week progresses. Bev, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Well, you, you are uh, in a very unique place. Tell everybody where you're located right now. I'm at the Pella Opera House on Franklin Avenue. It's just a half block uh, from the main square. Easy to find. All right, and tell everybody why you're at the Pella Opera House, because there's something pretty special going on, isn't there? I'm going to be doing a presentation as Maria Scolti, the wife of Domini Scolti, the founder of Pella. And I do a half an hour, in, like first person presentation as if Maria is here, telling you about her life and how she met the Domini and how she came to America. And I've got a little book here. It's called The Reluctant Pioneer. This was written by a lady by the name of Mert Pui. She was a local school teacher who did a lot of research on the Scolti family and particularly on Maria. So this is the story that's called The Reluctant Pioneer that I'm gonna be performing um, um, over the three days of tulip time. Wow, that is gonna be really neat, a little added bonus there. So uh, tell everybody about the Tulip Festival in case you've never experienced it. If you're from around here, you need to head down to Pella, right? Yes, yes. Uh, if you wanna to come to Pella, the thing to see is the tulips, of course, but there's so many other activities that, you know, the play that I'm doing, there's going to be street entertainment, the street scrubbers, which is tons of fun. My husband and I have done that. In fact, over the years, uh, I think I have done practically everything there is to do at Tulip Time. <laughs> Between selling tickets, uh, serving and cooking food, and uh, being volunteers, um, there are many things to do. The whole community comes together to do it. And I think everybody involved in it has a wonderful time. I know I do. Yeah, you know, enjoy the food that's there, too, because that is one of the attractions. Poffergees love those, uh, especially the ones that are Absolutely. made right right over there by the big windmill and things like that. Now, uh, what about the, the parade situation? How is that unfolding this year? Well, this year, because of, you know, all of the COVID last year and canceling, and we decided not to do all the parades this year, but we are going to have some of the floats parked out okay. on the main street. So people can come along and see the floats and some of the floats, uh, they're going to have an opportunity to get on float uh, and maybe have their picture taken there. So it'll still be fun. Right now, beside everything else, just walking around and seeing how gorgeous Pella is this time of year is well worth the trip uh, to Pella. But tell us a little bit about what is going on in the historical village as well. Uh, the historical village will be doing tours and they'll be able to go through the Wyatt Earth home that's been under restoration. You'll get to meet Wyatt Earp and his brothers while you're there. Hopefully, I know they're going to be around. And there's beautiful flowers there. And that whole village shows you what life was like in the pioneer days in Pella. Well, that is awesome. Well, Bev, if people want to get more information about what's happening in Pella in the next uh, couple of days, you have a, uh, a couple of more days to go before it really fires up. What is the easiest way to get all the information that people need? They can contact the Pella Historical Society or the Opera House here. And if you're going to come see my show, I'm at 10 o'clock on Thursday and Friday and 11 o'clock on Saturday. So you want to be sure and come and see that uh, and as well as all the other activities going on. And you don't want to forget to go to the bakeries. Oh. You don't want to leave Pella without having some wonderful Dutch goodies. Now, you need to eat some of the Dutch goodies when you're there and then buy some more to take them home with you uh, to, oh, to hold you over, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, that is so much fun. Really looking forward to getting back and enjoying uh, the tulips and the festival that happens in Pella each and every year. Starts the 6th and will continue on through the 8th. Thank you so much, Bev, for joining us here today. And have fun at the tulip time. Thank you.